Hello everyone, Gurnext here. I don't have an update, but you can see I'm still working on the GUI system. And I only kind of finished the player GUI system. The health bar, the... Not, not even this, like I haven't touched it. Oh my god. I haven't finished it either. You can see only apples and such all the random stuff but the video is all about the button and now we'll try to help a few fellow Uni unity users that were stuck into the problem of 4.6 beta version of using a button because it, they're not capable of detecting uh, when the button is held rather than just clicked uh, the difference between the click of the button I'll show you soon the difference of clicking a button and holding it uh, unit in unity you can attach functions it to when the button is clicked and there's a lot of stuff that I had to learn about the new UI system and of course that's one of the reasons why I didn't put an update, but there's a lot more reasons <sighs> that I don't want to get into. I just want to put out the code which fixes uh, the issue about how to detect if the button is pressed in Unity. So, now, I mean held, not pressed, because you hold and you release and it's kind of a you you kind of clicked the button the difference is that you if you hold a button you there's no way to detect it there's there's no information in the button component that the button is held or is uh, it, its state has changed in any way the only thing that I was able to detect is the color so it would be normal color, highlighted color and pressed color it also has a disabled color if the button is disabled and is not interactable so I can only detect the color so in that way I was able to detect state but uh, if I detect color right I have to there's also this fade in uh, animation or what not what you can call it and not always you would use color to change the button so I would have to have a button on top of another button to detect which state the button is if you can even understand what I mean let's say on this button I layered on top another button which does exactly the same I'm gonna show you how it looks like actually. Um, not exactly the same, but it does a few things to detect colors and thus states. It's a mess. It could be fixed with a simple thing just that would add uh, information about what state a button is in and that would fix everything but for some reason this information is not available and I don't know where that is if anyone is able to like find it maybe it's somewhere else or whatever because it's so important I have no idea what the fuck is going on with the unity developers for leaving out this feature hopefully it's gonna be uh, in 4.6 once the beta, beta versions are over of developed so you can see the button is now in normal state when it's red there's another button which uh, you know gives out these colors and doesn't have the text so it's red uh, yellow when highlighted green when pressed you can kinda see this fading effect but it does not fade in uh, the colors switch fast. The only fade-in that happens is in the background button which is here. 
you can see this fade in but the color switch wrap uh, instantly you can see just like from red to yellow you can see it better more clearly so in this way that colors switch instantly that's how the button has to be uh, performing so I would know his state so I would instantly know if the button is held or instantly know if the button is highlighted rather than wait for the fade in effect to finish and then know if it's held because it would have to return a pure value of a color for me to detect so now I will turn off that button <laughs> oh sorry anyways so with this kind of thing I am able to detect whether the button is pressed or not or held or not or even highlighted or even normal state I can detect any kind of state even if it's disabled or whatever and I can apply functions accordingly the thing is that when I press this button it has another button layered on top so I kinda press the button which is on top of this button first and I can't really press this button so I have to send information to kinda press the button to kinda change the color and everything I have to fade in the color as well like fade in fade out uh, not only that there is a difference between this button which is purely from the UI system and this button if you can see if I press the button and it's just because I haven't finished the code and I'm gonna implement it but I'll just wanna show the frustration that I'm going through ma making these little things that I shouldn't be making but I'm really like pissed off at little things that's who I am so anyways I press the button and I go away from the bounds of the button and the button kinda gets disabled right it looks normal sort of but it's different and I think this way that unity does its own buttons is kinda better I kinda press the button I get away from the button but it's still highlighted as if you know I'm still holding the key the mouse button so I come back to the button and it's pressed and if I would release it would click so you're able to you know get away from the button get back to the button and press it again it's a little thing like that what makes difference but it still has to be done so it wouldn't feel different from this button I have no idea how much work it's gonna take me to figure out how this works it's kind of fun but it's worthless once it's gonna be fixed if it's gonna be fixed if it's, it's such an easy fix it has to be fixed once developers find out about it anyways that's my kind of rant but this uh, the code is in the description for anyone struggling with this little thing for not being able to detect whether the button is held as I said I don't really use this function I used it in one game and I I got away with two lines of code like you know uh, by detecting the color so you, I, I would say you know if it's not normal color I've changed uh, highlighted to pressed and whatnot so you cannot really highlight the button because it's for mobile devices I just got away with two lines of code but it's a frustrating thing to do to not being able to detect the state of the button so yeah what a worthless video <laughs> makes me feel bad about doing it but that's the truth I couldn't go around and make anything I kinda didn't have any support I thought I had like a dude on skyped me and said well let's make this together and whatnot ah it sucks the develop <laughs> the hard truth about development of games 
sometimes it sucks and you have to do it everything on your own um, the thing is I'm gonna be doing a mini game so I will not be working on the game on this game for now for two months I think until the game jam I'll meet fellow game developers it's gonna be amazing hopefully and I'm gonna get more help if I show the project I certainly believe so that people would want to help uh, fellow Lithuanian uh, anyways that's about it see you guys next time hopefully you know I'll be showing my new mini game it's going to come out for mobile devices as well so we're gonna be learning some stuff with that and you know it's all about you know making an addictive minigame in unity I haven't really made a minigame except for that laser miner or whatnot which I haven't yet updated to be a uh, addictive but I'll, I have a better idea right now a much better idea of an addictive minigame that may fund me or whatnot who knows it would be nice to kind of leave this school that I'm in and it's all the background information about me ranting if you really want to stick around but anyways yeah right now I'm in the school I'm wasting time because I'm getting some cash but if I you know get funded through a minigame or whatnot that would be like time saver absolutely anyways hopefully you know this project is going to get faster in development after all the shit I'm being I'm being thrown at <sighs> it sucks <laughs> I have said it already but yeah hopefully I'll be able to upload another video anytime soon now yeah see you guys next time oh and you probably guessed it that I have a new microphone which is amazing also I have a camera and making a new channel actually if you can find it <laughs> anyways no no that is or yeah